My name is Trina, I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about. Through watching the previous shows on this channel, this is the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. 18 and over, yeah, I'm still waking up. By the way, these are pants. They're just kind of like bunched up. I don't want you guys to think I'm sitting here with no pants on. Or something weird like that. And things are falling down back here. <laughs> I'm in the art studio today. So um, I thought I'd just have the, the wake and bake inside of the art studio today. I guess you guys are cool with that. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to show you some of the art that I've been working on too. Um, I didn't want to save it for the Cannabis and Creativity Show. I just thought I'd keep showing you guys because that art giveaway is going to be coming up soon. We're almost at 700, over 720 subscribers, so yeah. All right, I'm going to show you what I'm smoking today. Oh, if I can grab it here. It's over here. Sorry. I mean to put my arm in, in, your, in your face and slowly knock things over behind me. God, I'm clumsy in the mornings. So anyway, <laughs> um... I've got my big blue bong that I'm going to smoke out of today, and I've got some uh, lavender kush that I'm going to smoke. So, yeah. Hope you guys are having a great day. And I hope you guys are finding ways to be uh, creative throughout your days, you know. Art can be a very good tool for healing, um, no matter what form that art comes in. And there's so many different types of art that people can do that use art. There's art for everyone, <laughs> pretty much. Alrighty, guys. I hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening. And sorry it's not a nature smoke sesh. I know you guys love those, uh, the wake and bake nature smoke sessions. But it just didn't work out that way today. So I'll just, maybe I'll do an evening one in the evening. Evening one in the evening. <laughs> maybe I'll do an evening smoke session for you guys out in nature. Cheers. delicious. <coughs> so for the longest I've been wanting to show you guys, not the longest, yeah well yeah for the longest I've been wanting to show you guys how to make a uh, bottle bong doll. <laughs> I said that I was going to do a tutorial on it, and then my camera, the sound, got messed up on it. So what I'll probably do is tape that next week, the tutorial. And um, I'll show you step by step. But today I wanted to show you, um, I wanted to show you the bong doll that I did. That made me, give me the idea to make another one. Well, also too, when I showed that bong doll on this channel under Cannabis and Creativity, that show... I asked if you guys would be interested in me doing a tutorial on how to make a bong doll and yeah, I got the resounding answer of yeah. So let me reach over, <laughs> trying not to be too like, you know, offensive armpit in your face and shit. But yeah, this is the bong doll that I had to repair before I could start on doing a tutorial. So basically I just took an old bong, which is this here, and I paper mache it because it was broken. I don't know if you can see that well. But anyway, let's do it this way. I paper mache this part in here, the the, in the bottom. It was broken and shattered. And then I painted it with uh, blue paint. And this part's kind of like, I gotta work on that. Inside of it is another bottle doll, which is like a skull, red skull bottle doll with a striped outfit on. <laughs> and then this doll in itself, she's like a... Uh, I'd say she's like a um, a being from another realm <laughs> with the horns and everything and um, a little bit of her bald head showing in the back. But yeah, this was f definitely a labor of love. What I did was I mounted it onto, I thought someone was coming in. I mounted it onto a block of wood. And then next, and then next what I did was I glued some uh, stones that I found from the ocean and the river onto the stone and placed her on there. That way, with a lot of my dolls, uh, 
they feel more like sculptures like I've talked to you guys about. So in that case, you know, why not put them on some sort of platform so when you display them in your home, they're like this, you know, they, you know, they can't move that much. They're just here for display. So, and I think it's a neat thing to do with broken bongs. When your bong breaks, you know, don't throw it in the trash, do something with it and recycle it. I just really wanted to do something cool with this bong because I was really heartbroken when it broke. And so I was like, I got to save this somehow. And this is what I did with it. So yeah, so much fun. Oh my God. Um, as this gets progresses, I'll, you know, I'll show it more and more. And like I said, next week, what I want to do is a tutorial on how to make this. Because I think that everybody should recycle as much as they can. So yeah, I'll put her to the side <clears throat> and take another bong rip. So yeah, I just scratch the, the crap out of my nose. My nails, they get so like sharp, like razors. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that was good. <laughs> art and cannabis in the morning. Waking and baking with art. <laughs> so let me show you some of the, the stash jars is how, how they've progressed. Here's one that I've been working on. <clears throat> this one's looking pretty good. They're all paper mache. This I added a rock. This is an actual, a lot of them I was using an almond for the eye. This is an actual stone that I found by the river. I like the shape of it, so I glued it onto the jar. Um, used some nail enamels on there for the eye <clears throat> and acrylic paints, and then around it, kind of looks like tentacles. It just kind of came out that way. <laughs> and then here's the other side. A really good friend of mine named Annette Padilla of Black Stitch Art Studio. I don't know if she still exists. I can't find her anywhere online. But anyway, she gave me a bunch of these. It says, uh, it says marijuana on the bottom. And it says cannabis for you in this area. You can see that. And 420 on here. <laughs> cannabis money. <laughs> yeah, I've got two jars that have this on there. I wanted to save one of these uh, these bills for my... Oop, I spit at you, sorry. <laughs> I wanted to save one of these bills for myself just as a you know, souvenir, but here's the other one that has that on it, is this one. So yeah, look at that. And then there's the other side of it with the eye. Yeah, stash jars, so that's what these are. These are stash jars, if I didn't say that before, in this video at least. So yeah, I still got some, a little bit ways to go on that. Here's another one that I've been working on and it turned out really nice, this one. See that? Bring it back, and I think I did. Yeah, I glossed the bottom of it. I just put sign my name on it, and here's the other side. So what I want to do is write something like really, really cool on there, lettering, just a little message on there from me, from me to you, <laughs> type of thing. So I'll be picking out which um, items, specific jar. It's only gonna be one jar, one stash jar that'll be on the giveaway. So I'll pick out one. I don't know which one it's going to be. This could be for the up for the running. <laughs> or this one. Where's that one? Ah, this one's kind of small though. Uh -oh. What happened to you? you? Got some sort of fuzz on you. It was just carpet fuzz. But this one, I really think this one's cool. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm only going to give away three, three gifts, three um, prizes, three pieces of, excuse me, my God, three big belches for you. Well, there are three pieces of art that I'm going to give away to three different people. <clears throat> that way, three people have a chance to win. So, yeah. I'm just drinking my, um, not today, I'm drinking just lime juice, honey, and water today and no tea. I guess you can call it a type of tea. But yeah, I was working a lot yesterday on the stash jars again. And um, 
it gets hot. It was getting hot yesterday. I mean, my God, I started feeling like, okay, I gotta get these stash jars in. Because um, what I cut them with it was, is called Mod Podge. And it's really like this one. I got some of the uh, Mod Podge that was sticking to the other one. So I'm really particular. So when you get this, it's not gonna look shoddy. <laughs> Rest assured, it'll be nice. And that's why my art takes some time to make. See, it's totally clear in there. You can throw your herb up in there. Put a jar on there, good to go. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it just takes a while, this process. Um, you can make it even simpler than I do. You could just even paper mache it and paint it one solid color and then call it good to go. And if you wanted to make one on your own. But I tend to go um, to the nth degree <laughs> with my art creations because I'm really getting into and I'm processing a lot of stuff. So that's how the stash jars are coming along. I've got more to show, and I think you guys have seen it on the other. This one's still drying. I really like this one. It's still drying out. So I like the texture because it reminds me, the texture and the colors that I'm using is symbolic of fall. You know, the greens, the oranges, the um, greens, oranges, um, what other colors you got going on in the fall time, like dark, dark purples, maroons, uh, kind of the color of my, um, <clears throat> was that plum tree that's outside. It's kind of got a purplish color to it now. So the leaves on it coming off. So yeah. <laughs> um, one more thing I wanted to show you. Now I told you guys how I pay for my shade, uh, plastic bottles. This used to be a Seagram's, um, alcohol bottle. We use the Seagram's uh, pr uh, the, to make the uh, tinctures that we make. So we'll have this bottle left over. <clears throat> it's a plastic bottle. Uh, so I figured I'd do something creative with it. Then I make dolls with them. So yeah. Here's one tip too that I've learned just by trial and error. If you're going to make a paper mache doll using a plastic bottle, put something inside the plastic bottle so that <laughs> if you're, especially if you're using a stone for the head, which I did, Put something inside the plastic bottle like rocks so that it'll be even. Because like this, look, it tum it'll tumble over. See this? It's going to come right at you. See what I mean? So, but if I were to put something in there, like some stones, so it'll be evened out so it's not top heavy. You know what I mean? So, yeah, um, pretty cool. But all I got to do is paint the face, maybe add some arms and legs, and then you have a doll. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. And then I did the same technique with doing the eyeballs with using the um, the almond shells, gluing, paper mache those on to the bottle. These are fun things you can do even with your family and your friends. You get together and have like an art night if you wanted to.